Every tournament says, I don't even touch the Mii, then they're like, I need to make a Mii real quick. <laughs> Hold on, just in case, throw them off their game. Uh, go, I need to make a Mii real quick, they walk up and just be like, I need to blind pick the characters in the matchups and be like, they have no idea what's going on. Uh, we got Greninja and, uh, and sword fighter. Uh, so sword fighter, not a, not a gunner. Yeah, and I, I feel like sword fighter and brawler are the stronger. Uh -huh. I've definitely seen more sword fighter generally in tournaments. So the uh, the chakram and the neutral B is very very good. So the chakram is uh, the side special, and there's I believe he's using the one where it's like the quick one, or you can like make it go slow like a setup. This is the one that uh, yeah, oh, it's that, not the yeah. one that combos into a lot of stuff though. Because I saw some like crazy Twitter comments that are like comboing chakram and the chakram like. Something uh, something nuts, but it looks like the more projectile uh, quick one. Well, oh, see, there it is. Yeah, yeah so that's the setup. It's a uh, it, it both of them. Uh, yeah. So you can tap it and make it go far, right. or you can do it slow. It's kind of like tilting and smashing. Right. Gotcha. It's a learning experience for all of us. Uh, even you know, as much as we try to stay in the game, the commentators focus often on characters that are played more often and. You know, uh, if you're into the Mii Fighters, you're in for a rare treat because it's not really a commonly played character for sure. Oh yeah, that neutral B, that tornado neutral B is so, so good. It can also two frame as well, it's very low. So you can uh, hit that into the uh, custom up B. Oh wow, it doesn't have the hero spin. Yeah, that's that's usually the one you uh, combo right. to it from the, from the neutral B. So, hey, he's not going to have that confirmed there. He's just going to have the uh, tornado into the up B. Maybe he just prefers the better recovery from this one. But yeah, wow, very interesting. And uh, on the other side, of course, you got a Greninja taking the first stock. And Greninja made, uh, of all the characters that we were watching in that tournament, we were talking about how Roy and Krom kind of made waves. Uh, Greninja made waves as well. Yeah, Greninja is a very strong <laughs> character. Leia from Japan making it very apparent at Frost by getting uh, ninth, I believe. Very, very great performance. Still got so many great players. Yeah, Japan kept telling us, yeah, Greninja's a really good character. And we're like, I don't know, Japan. You might be crazy over there. And then all of a sudden, Leia comes like, yeah, you're right, Japan. You understood. Yeah. You understood something about the game that we didn't immediately. Ooh, the out there pressure coming in. Okay. Oh, and yeah, dash attack is such a good combo starter for, for Greninja. Dash attack and like down tilt, so so good. And with, and with his mobility, it's like you know you have the dash attack, but you also have the run, you know, run cancel with down tilt, setting up so much, uh, so much, so much momentum for Greninja. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Yui is able to battle back. He's got a little bit of a deficit to make up, and you know, Amber just playing very patient, classic, classic, classic you know, just slow, nice and easy pace, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I mean, Yui is doing a really good job of slowly bringing this back. Uh, but it, it, it can be difficult, too, because it, it's funny because he's playing Swordfighter, but he's playing a very ranged, yeah. uh, like, Swordfighter using a lot of the projectile and stuff. And he's also got the reflector, too. So if Yui tries to contest him, why wow, you can angle it down to that, I didn't even know. Wow, that's crazy. But um, if, if he does try to contest it, then wait, what happens if you can pick it up? Um, <laughs> I was like, what is that item? We're, we're boy Korean's mind right now. He was just sitting on the ground. Uh, Yui, of course, is, oh, uh, he probably had to confirm there for that up smash off the neutral air or something. Didn't quite get the, uh, the follow up. It's just there. Yeah, this, this appears so weird. And here we go. And uh, Amir got some off stage. Uh, you know, he's not. It's hard to say. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing me Gunner while playing uh, Sword Fighter yeah. simultaneously. <laughs> I, I like it though. I think that um, I think Amir probably like really enjoys the play style of Sword Fighter, and he probably still plays the other team. Well. Yeah. It's a nice change of pace. Just, uh, you know, from the meta, it's kind of evolved into two players. Kind of. Uh, I don't want to say two players running at each other, but you know, doing as much damage as they can. But sometimes that's just kind of how it plays out. Yep. There isn't a whole lot of the, uh, you know, way back and uh, camp it, camp it all out to, uh, to death outside of when uh, all of ours on the screen. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, you trying to get something started. The up air not going to be enough. Break the eye coming out. From the, uh, uh, make it back from that. Ooh, the quick charge gonna wait. Make even more damage here. And ooh, the shadow sneak is gonna whip punish there for you. He's gonna take this and bring it down to the last stock. But he gets 79%. He's slowly chipping his way back in. Oh, had a pretty good punish option, but just decided to jump out of it. Oh, right now, and 
Adam doing a really good job just staying in the air. It's another good look at that chalk from as well. Like such a good ledge trapping tool because when it comes back, it's like, well, you're gonna get hit by this. So beautiful tech coming out from AEM that could have spelled a lot of damage to him. But we got the confirms, the neutral beat into the up air. Yeah, lipstick uh, nation right there. Got the uh, little flower wand. Uh. <laughs> yeah, flower power, man. Yeah, sometimes you gotta give it to him. All right. Um, Yui down a game. Let's see, you know, what kind of changes able to make. It almost looked like, if I had to guess, maybe he's not as familiar playing against the me and wasn't quite sure what kind of uh, confirms that he had to, to work with just because, you know. Yeah, you most know. of the Mii's aren't the most popular characters. Right. So. And Greninja's definitely work off of, you know, getting that quick opener hit and then uh, whether it's the neutral or the down tilt and then following it up with either an up smash or a forward or in those situations. And if you're not confident on where exactly your opponent's going to get hit to because you're not you know you're not as familiar playing against them. The, that precision's hard to really get so that you can get the max, you know maximum utility out of your openers. And we got a switch up already. There's a skull kick coming out now. Okay, so we got the, the brawler here. Um, brawler, yeah, that move, <laughs> that side beat is really good. The command grab, it's got very little lag. It doesn't kill, but it does like 20 plus damage. And it's uh it's very hard to react to. It, it's quick. And it's interesting. I wonder why he ended up uh, switching characters. Maybe uh, stage? I don't know. Could be stage, maybe just follow Preference, yeah. Up. Maybe just trying to keep him off knobs. It's like, it looks like you didn't know what was going on. And maybe everything that he learned might be enough to bring him back in, too. Let's just change it up one more time. <laughs> yeah, that move is so good. Yeah. I feel like that's probably one of all the best moves for sure. Just, uh, just throw it out, get the damage in. Yeah, you can use it like just for straight ability, too. You can use it for air dash, right? Ooh, thought he was going to toss up, but wow, beautiful carry to the down beat. That was great. Ooh. Covered the recovery with the cannonball, and already Yui in a little bit of trouble. Oh, gets the landing there. Double damage here before. Yeah, not enough to kill, but that's what I'm damage. Oh, that'll be enough to kill. Yes, the re coming out from Yui. Oh, and we got the, uh, the helicopter kick on uh, here. Oh, with the down smash. How would it, I mean, I don't think Yui was expecting him to be in so little, like, end lag. Yeah. Just kind of, like, very little hit stun. So, Amir was able to squeeze out that down smash, take that first stock, and pretty much even it right up here. It's like, actually taking the lead as well. Right. He's got a little, quite a bit of a lead now, and he's building it up. And, you know, it's going to be tough, if, unless he's got to try to open him up. Yui doing everything that he can. Got it down to him, but not able to follow up. Hey, we won't say that normal get up there. Doing a really good job holding center stage. You were trying to fight for it, but that dash attack is going to snuff out that forward air. And you can see, as soon as he gets him off stage, uh, um, Amir is just kind of throwing those cannonballs to cover any of the ledge options to force uh, to force the action. Not really going too aggressively off stage. Right. There's a jab on Yui's part. Oh, not enough to recover. Yeah, unfortunate SD there coming out from the AEM. I heard a little bit of a laugh coming from him. He, he was like, yeah, man, I messed up. And Yui fortunate to have a little bit of a lead now. After getting that, you know, that call out first stock, yeah, uh, he's definitely, he's got some uh, momentum now. If you can put on some damage, then he's looking pretty good. But that's uh, that's always a tough part, right? The, the game yeah. plan seems so clear, but actually executing it and putting the damage in, that's a whole other story. Oh, well, it's starting to show up a little bit. And again, wow, a good 45% here. The dash jab really, really looking well. trying to steal out the stock, and he does find it the back here. We'll find it smart, and we're at last stop. Here we go. Let's see if uh, here we can. Uh, Grenada things are happening. He's got him. He's, he's got him on the ropes just a little bit. Oh, I thought an up smash was coming out. Yeah, well, it's pretty hard to punish just because of the air drift. Yeah. The, the cross up there. Jump out of the air. Jump down shield. Aim. Still on. How are you gonna be losing? Uh, what's Vulcan on? Uh, uh, Termina uh, the uh, Omega form. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's Yui. Hard enough. Shooting out these water shurikens. Now, Aim, I believe. Oh, wait, he doesn't have the reflector anymore because he's on Brawler. Right. 
Yeah, that's right. So you can't, you can't reflect it. That's going to be Yui in the forward air. To close it out here for Yui. And I, I feel like that's such a big deal not having that reflection. Yeah, Yui trying to do his best impression of the uh, the hero of time. Uh, saves Termina from, uh, from Skull Kid. And let's see what we got rolling through on game three. I just thought I was just like I'm watching. I'm like this. This looks like it's too. Uh, it's uh, too cohesive. <laughs> it's, too <canon. laughs> it's too canon. Except there's a Greninja on screen, of course. But <laughs> it's like those frogs from the uh, the, the Hero of Time. The, no, the uh, Greninja is like those frogs from the um, Woodfall Temple that you know the boss that rides around on the turtle that you have to kill if you play to Majora's Mask. Spoilers? I swear it's a thing. <laughs> um, Man, that game is so old that if you're getting spoiled on it, I, I feel bad for you. Go play it. Um, it'll change your life. Definitely top three Zelda games, in my opinion. So, really? Yeah, for sure. For sure? Like, easy. 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 Easily. I, I, I'm on the uh, Link's Awakening, Majora's Mask, and Breath of the Wild hype train. In that order? And, oh, that's it's close. It's close. The, the, no no order on that tier list. Though, Dang, no order, though. Yeah. All, right, all right. I respect it. Yeah. I think Breath of the Wild on your top three. Yeah, for me, I love Breath of the Wild. I, I can't, I can't say enough about it. Yeah, it's, it's really good. watching watching Breath of the Wild speedruns is like the most hype thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> although uh, some What's of the record, um, I don't know what the new any percent record is. Um, it's it's gotten down. I, I saw something below forty minutes recently. Forty? Yeah, like it's. Do they just go straight to the? Um, but yeah, they do the uh, the plateau and then they dive. You know, they, they they have like a crazy route through Ganon's castle. They had some new technique come out where they like literally bounce off people uh, from bullet time. It's it's all nuts. Like, Dude, that's hype. Well, they used to hit themselves with uh, the stasis to uh, really fly really far really fast. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Um, and, and speaking of, uh, you know, it's, we got that. Sticking with it though. And it's interesting. Okay, so and, and, you know, Amir lost, and he had the counter pick, and. We're not on Termina anymore. He, he blew his uh, cannon, you know, cover. He's, it's, it's like, but he, he, that shows that he wants to win as much as he wants to have fun uh, playing the, uh, you know, the brawler that he wants with the Skull Kid costume and everything. He, he's like, I, I'm still picking Smash Ball in this situation. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm, I'm very surprised we didn't see the Sword Fighter come out. Um, he did so well with the Sword Fighter. Maybe he just right. feels like he can do well with the uh, the Brawler on Smashville. He did have the counterpick stage, right. so maybe he feels a lot more comfortable with Brawler on Smashville. And not only that, maybe it was because uh, you know if we remember the second stock of the second game, um, Amir had a little bit of a flub, a little miscue in SD. Uh, you're, you know, kind of not sure why he didn't make it back to the stage. Wow, uh, all of that cannonball up, kind of like a Mario fireball. Yeah, that was an amazing setup there. No ledge grab, but. Yui gonna fight his way back with the forward air. No lag there, not getting any punish though. And I mean, this is still looking scary for AM because, you know, Greninja is that combo oriented character. Gets another hit into a solid, like, up smash follow up. That could be, that could be curtains here for AM's first stock, but 150% Greninja's still living. And he mixing up the cannonballs. Oh, no. I wonder if the cannonball scared him just a little bit that he tried to, you know, be a little too fine with his uh, movement. Yeah, definitely possible. Oh, wow. Really good strain. 38% here for AEM. I, I like the down tilt as well to pop him back up right into the forward air. Very nice strain. And outside of an up smash, this is going to be tough uh, for Yui. Uh, he's got to pick up some sort of forward air or up smash to really close out the stock. And Amir is already put on 70%. And doesn't look like he's going to be stopping anytime soon. Oh, there's an up smash, but it doesn't get the sweet spot. Yeah, he the platform. It, but he didn't get the full, he didn't get the second hit to connect as well, which is definitely the most important hit. But the shadow sneak to avoid that neutral AM was coming in with. Very, very smart. Amir, I think, I think that one scared him. He got caught by surprise, kind of laughing. <laughs> he's like, what was that? And he's like, that's the Shadow Sneak, my friend. That was the rawest of Shadow Sneaks. <laughs> Those are the best times when you get hit by something for your opponent. You had no idea it was coming. You just got to turn him like, respect. Now on stage here, trying to get these snipes with the, the uh, bowling ball. But... Is that a bowling ball? A oh, yeah, I never thought about that. We'd have to look at what the, what the move is called. Just uh, Some kind of metal object. It looks like a cannonball to me, but, you know, or a shot put. Uh, but bowling ball might make sense from cannon because me, you know, we sports, bowling, we bowling. Yeah, true. Yeah. I wonder. 
We need to, if, if it's not, they need to make like, you know, Wii Sports is the new uh, opponent character. And down special is bowling ball across the stage, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, let's uh, start tweeting at Sakurai who says, don't tweet at the number. Oh my god, there's a smash attack, there's a kill. And yeah, scooped up, and Amir is sitting pretty coming into this last stock. Yui, after mounting the comeback, uh, you know, might be running out of gas here at the end. Oh, this IB wants to connect again. That, like I said, it does quite a bit of damage, so if uh, AIM has a good, like, just, it's so good for catching landing. Oh, the Hurricane Kid barely going to make it back there. Okay, Yui, going to get this rapid jab. Going to charge with the Shuriken, and wow, I, I like the mix-up after we just shooting another one immediately. Definitely, Yui's got to take the stock now because, you know, Avery hasn't really got any big hits so far into this last stock, but each little, you know, each little stray hit's just a little bit more damage tacked on, and playing from behind is going to just be so tough coming into the final stock. Oh, man, and yeah, I mean, he, honestly, AEM hasn't racked up too much damage yet, so it's, it's not looking too nuts, but oh, oh, almost gets to confirm that that was definitely what he needs. And yeah, you gotta be careful too, that, that flip kick, kind of like a, yeah. I don't know what the exact move is called, but it's pretty much a flip kick from Zero Suit. It's a very strong move when you're in that disadvantage state. Something yeah, it's that get out of jail card that Manny needs, and uh, went for the uh, the helicopter kick, but not quite enough uh, range on it. He was trying to get one more ratchet. Uh, yeah, where it is, there, yeah, he's going for it, reading his mind, uh, three of the profit, and he gets a forward smash instead. Man, and if that had hit, I'd gone crazy. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, oh, gets sniped. It's, it's trouble. Yeah. Oh, it aims, throws it the opposite direction. Not gonna connect. And he'll start trading here. Ooh. Yeah. Not gonna get uh, punished there. Gets the drag down. Ooh, no tech chase though coming out from Yui. And the shield pressure coming out from AM. Dang. Hey, it looked like Yui was a little nervous in that situation. Didn't hit a button to fall off the tech chase, but he followed it up with the big answer right there with an up smash and has himself within striking distance. Uh, a couple more straight hits and one good combo into an up smash, and he might be able to steal this one from here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, he, he's definitely getting these straight hits. He's definitely getting this damage, and definitely Greninja, definitely a character that can do that. The damage output on Greninja is pretty good here. That down smash coming out quick as well. And he battled himself right back into it, and now it could be anyone's game. Oh man, AM almost got that falling up air off the uh, jump from ledge from Trump. Oh man, this is so, so close. You gotta feel a little frustrated if you're Amir. Oh, you went for the raw shadow sneak again. Uh, you're in so much control of the matches, you know, for Amir, and now you're in a dogfight, and you could end up losing, uh, if anything. Yeah. It's, it's scary. You know, at this point, Yui does pretty much have max rage here, and he's still alive. Can AM finish off this stock? Like, I, I just feel like one solid like smash attack, right. and Yui will could win this game here. So AM's got to be really, really careful. Uh, not even just a, a smash attack, even a down tilt to a forward or something small. Yeah, those Shurikens, even though they don't like big hits, uh, small damage uh, plays a pivotal role because now forward is probably in that kill range. Oh, hey. there you go. He hit and hopped right over the shuriken, and you know he he actually got like three shuriken hits. Yeah. So I really like that. Him almost conditioning off of like his neutral losses right, right there, and was able to get the kill from it. Yeah, definitely. It's like your opponent sometimes get in that mindset of if it's working.